well friends welcome back to my youtube channel toppers world in this video i'm going to talk about uh, listening listening module uh, most of the students find listening easy but there are uh, many students who find difficulties in listening especially those students who want 7778 and 8 band score in listening is a challenging one so video is about how to uh, practice so that we can get high band score in listening that could be 7 8 8.5 even some students are successfully able to get 9 band in listening so there are three problem areas where uh, uh, students have to focus first is uh, the first area of problem is lack of understanding when they do listening especially the beginners so when the beginners are there and they do listening they are not able to understand the content and out of 40 they may be in the beginning uh, do 10 to 12 correct 13 15 correct like this way second is uh, poor spelling if you have heard the answer it's a good thing but the spelling wrong then again they, you are not getting any advantage uh, for example uh, the word like uh, schedule restaurant february chocolate accommodations these uh, words are having some hard spellings and it requires a lot of practice to work on uh, such spellings and uh, the next is grammar yes of course uh, grammar also plays its vital role in listening uh, especially singular and plural most of the students uh, make mistakes when they have to write in answers in plural but they write in singular when they have to write in singular they write in plural and sometimes they do not know the plurals of certain nouns so this video is all about that how to overcome these three problem areas so that we can get high band score the first uh, i'm going to talk about uh, how to improve our understanding how can we listen better find the answers exactly uh, reach at that place in the conversation where we uh, where the answer lies so how can it be done suppose if you are a beginner and you face many problems in listening then i would suggest you that you should always do only 10 questions first take any listening test only do the first section first section is the easiest and uh, when you start listening before that you should read all the questions and think in your mind that what can be the possible answers there aapne wahan pe sochna hai ki yahan pe kya kya answers ho sakte hain you have to imagine the answers for example contact phone so naturally the, it will be like a phone number date of birth okay year is already given you have to write uh, other things like uh, day and month occupation work as a dash so working as a dash may be a manager receptionist salesman accountant so such kind of things you will ask your mind you have to uh, make some pre uh, ideas you have to create some estimations or judgments that what could be there the probable answers so do uh, listen this script okay and uh, after that check your answers suppose you have done uh, six correct answers so you should go through it again again you listen the same first ten two three four times till you are able to do all the ten there is no purpose of uh, going to the next listening test or next uh, section if you have not done all the first ten correctly okay so repeat this till you are not 100% able to do that again if there are after 2 3 4 uh, listening sessions if you are not able to find the answer of any one question for example here the question number 9 you are not able to check it uh, find it that what the real answer over here so our uh, next thing that you have to do is you should go to audio scripts all the talks that is done in listening having its script here in the end of cambridge books here i have taken cambridge 14 and at the end you will find the script this is the script of audio script of test 1 and uh, the test i was talking about that was test 2 and uh, so this is the script of 1 uh, to 5 questions then up to 10 and the question number 9 is here so now what you will do you will play the listening again on youtube and have this book in front of you have this script in front of you as the persons are talking over there you can have your pencil and underline the talk carl hi 
come and take a seat julie thank you carl my name is carl rogers and i am and in this way you will listen it and by the time when you will reach to that question which gave you problem for example the question number 9 here so you you can find the answer underlined over here so you should listen that area two three times again so that you can have a complete understanding so until you are not having complete understanding there is a no purpose of moving to the next part so similarly uh, i suggest you that after doing 10 questions listening two three four times having complete understanding then move to the test 3 and again do uh, first 10 questions and then test 4 test 1 in this way for 5 uh, 6 times in a day do this and uh, do the repetitions again and again after completing five tests four tests only t- uh, passage 1 or part 1 then listen it again so after completing uh, uh, the four tests then move to your part 2 then part 3 part 4 and repeatedly listen in this way you will get better understanding although this is a bit hard job and boring for some students but our main purpose is over here to get the band and there is no module in uh, uh, you know in ielts which is you find very interesting to do every module is a little bit boring if you have to do same things again and again so in case of uh, multiple choice type of questions i suggest you that what do you need to do suppose uh, uh, it's there, there is no time for you to read the options so what do you need to do just to read the question and when they speak uh, when the two persons speak, uh, usually in the part 2 there are two persons who do talk so whatever they talk you should uh, write uh, their main points here on the side and after that after doing the complete uh, passage to then uh, uh, match the information you have recorded here or noted here on the notebook with the options in case of multiple choice this is the best trick again if you are not able to understand after repeating two three times then you can listen to the audio script so many students face problems in uh, maps the same thing you have to do you first of all need to understand north south east to west where is the standing uh, starting point where the uh, the person in this uh, audio standing then left right forward backward uh, these directions and uh, the vocabulary related to the movement of the people you need to focus on that and listen this map 3 4 times again and you will find that our uh, brain which do the things repeatedly what things that we do repeatedly again and again our brain start uh, getting habit of that things and slowly we uh, able to overcome or the hurdles or obstacles in that and we start understanding the things so mind we have to condition the conditioning of the mind is done by repeatedly listening and again if you are not able to understand then you can also go to the audio script so same thing you need to do the first thing you need to do is to improve your listening uh, understand uh, un- listening with understandingly accurately so if this thing is done you repeatedly do listening listening same listening you will be able to understand the things then after that the next problem that the student face is that is related to spelling so so students who are not uh, very much mature in english or who are beginner they face this problem this is the biggest problem suppose you have listened the answer accurately okay you understood the answer but if you make mistake in uh, spelling then you will not get any benefit you will lose the mark and there are many many tricky words in uh, listening like for example furniture okay okay uh, furniture furniture is a neutral noun and some students write like furnitures so there is no word like furnitures we we don't use as with it it's a neutral similarly some children some uh, some students write childrens okay no it's a children single is child this is singular one child and plural is children and no need to use s s is wrong here 
so there are so many words like accommodation uh, is often we get in listening accommodation so you must have a knowledge of right spelling uh, schedule schedule okay so what can be done in this regard so when you do one listening and you find that you have written the spelling of children wrong or spelling of furniture wrong then you have to make a list of uh, you know those words which you often write wrong spelling uh, make a diary have a diary and note down and daily see these words write these words daily otherwise there is no way if i tell you that you you should understand all the signs of spelling or all the you know uh, rules and uh, formulas of spelling it will going to be a very very long process and nobody has a time for uh, like uh, preparing ielts in 6 months or 7 months nobody like to do so you have to identify all those words while listening and make a list of these words you can take the screenshot of these words and see these words again and again or you make a chart paper and write those words that you often make mistake in spelling and paste these uh, charts in the in your drawing room in your uh, sitting rooms wherever you spend most of the time and see these words 6 7 8 times in a day so you know in english there is a proverb out of mind sorry out of sight out of sight is out of mind okay so this is really very true so things that you watch daily they they remain in your brain in your memory and the things that you do not watch daily you often forget those things so spellings are such a tricky thing that you have to overcome by this way i already made a video uh, on uh, the most common words the most common words that appear in listening words that appear in listening so you can watch that video and uh, write those words from there like chocolate restaurants february the uh, you know month's name and the day's name uh, this is a big list having uh, around 200 300 words so there is two benefits you will also get the vocabulary and you will also get the spelling of difficult words so grammar is also very important there are sometimes seven eight questions that are related to uh, grammar for example uh, if any question if suppose there are blanks and the answer is john's dictionary so uh, what jimmy is searching what jimmy is searching or looking for the answer is john's dictionary so if you do not uh, write you write like, like this way john dictionary the answer is wrong john's dictionary again answer is wrong you have to put apostrophe comma over here apostrophe comma means dictionary of john so it means dictionary of john so this apostrophe comma is very important in hindi we can say john ki dictionary or in punjabi john the dictionary so apostrophe means of okay so it's very important so uh, number 2 uh singular plural you have you should have knowledge of singular and plurals of nouns like uh, uh boy boys girl girls okay so some nouns are neutral we do not use s with them or uh, they are treated as uh, uh, singular but they have a meaning as plural for example uh we can say over here for example uh, there are blanks and the question is a group of uh, students so who are going to picnic a group of students so you have written a group of student the answer is wrong because in group always there are more number of students so you have to write s over here a group of students so there are many cases where you need to put s and there are many cases where you need not to put s 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई नीड इंफॉर्मेशन सो इंफॉर्मेशन वर्ड इज ऑलवेज सिंगुलर वी वी डू नॉट यूज एस विद इंफॉर्मेशन दिस इज रॉन्ग इफ वी यूज एस विद इंफॉर्मेशन सो लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इज नीडेड इंफॉर्मेशन इज नीडेड इंफॉर्मेशन आर नीडेड इज रॉन्ग फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैन इज अ सिंगुलर मैन इज प्लूरल सो वी वी डोंट यूज एस यू कॉन्ट यूज एस मैं मैं इज रॉन्ग सिमिलरली वुमन प्लूरल इज वुमन साउंड सेम बट स्पेलिंग डिफरेंट Similarly, fish is fish. We don't use es with it. Fishes is wrong. And fruit, fruit is always like singular fruit, not fruits. Okay, and so there are there are many words like this. Uh, already um, a video is made by me and uploaded. You can see in my channel. So finally, in order to get very high band score. do listening again and again listening again and again till you get all answers correct do not move to the next test before that okay and uh, my advice that always listen english videos or watch english videos whether they are ielts videos or non ielts videos more english content you will watch more your brain will be you know habitual of understanding the english language so what most of the students do they love to watch those videos which are in punjabi or hindi language or any other local language so if when you are planning uh, planning to appear in ielts exam you have to force your mind to listen english and watch english videos the videos that are totally in english that are 100% beneficial to you second thing is uh, you need to do is uh, focus on spelling work on spelling and uh, i already told you make a list of those words which uh, uh, spelling always doubtful to you then learn grammar singular and plural the very very important you work on these three areas definitely and of course when you are not able to understand anything watch audio script at the back of the book that is really very very useful to you thank you thank you for watching this video